Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Lockjaw issue number four. This is such a beautiful comic book. So we're basically going to see Lockjaw's origin and his mother's origin. Um, and it's good. It's good. Guys, you can go back and you can check out my videos on uh, Lockjaw and on um, uh, uh, Black Bolt explained in a minute. There's, there's one for each of them. And those origins will give you a better understanding of what's happening here if you're just picking up Lockjaw, you know, this comic book, and you don't know anything about the Inhumans too much. Uh, you're good. Just go and check out those two videos. Lockjaw explained in a minute, and Black Bolt explained in a minute. And this is going to fit in perfectly where nothing necessarily changes for them. Uh, four siblings for Lockjaw, and they all have their own special little thing about them. And it's, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, in the end of this, you know, I'm not really going to go too much into the end of it, but the end of this is a really beautiful ending. Like, I love this. And at this point forth, I really, I think I'm going to need to see um, a Dumpy book. I'm going to need to see a D-Man book because this was so good. This was just so good. Look, Daniel Kibblesmith has earned a place in my heart writing comic books, and this is a lot like a Chip Zardosky style book. If, if somebody would have said, oh, uh, Kibble Smith is actually a pen name for Chip Zardosky, I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. Because, like, that's how this is written, and I love the way that he writes. But, you know, Kibble Smith is his own man, and I love this. This is fantastic. Uh, Carlos Vila did the pencils, Roberto Poggi did the, uh, the, the inks, and Chris O'Halloran did the, the colors. Everybody involved in this was it was just absolutely fantastic. I genuinely loved this book. It was heartwarming. You got to see four specific worlds. You got, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm dying because the book was also funny. Uh, I'm just saying, when the Megalodon appears, you're going to be like, okay, I get it. That was that was actually pretty good. Um, <laughs> we get to see where, where Franklin and uh, Valeria Richards are. We get to see... The, uh, where the, 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 the Ultimates universe, yes, it is still in full function. We get to see the redacted DC universe. Hey, man, this is private property. <laughs> like, I, did I, are you serious? You want to take a risk like that? That was awesome. That was so awesome. I'm so in love with that panel. I, I, I oh my God. And then we could see the, the, <laughs> the prehistoric Avengers from 1 million BC. Dude, are you kidding me? And Ghost Rider's like, wait, dogs can be domesticated? This changes everything. No. <laughs> it's actually gray wolves. Eventually, they they become domesticated through years and years of, of evolution. Um, anyway, <laughs> this was... This was awesome. I love this so much. And it's just like me and my little lockjaw, my little plush lockjaw here. Yeah, we're we're gonna sit down, we're gonna hang out with this book. This was this was beautiful. This was beautiful. I absolutely love this. Uh, yeah, this is mine, by the way. I want you to like this isn't my kids. No, no, this is mine. <laughs> but uh you, you think I only collect the these things? No, no. But I am waiting for a build a figure for, for with the inhumans. That's actually got lock you could build a lockjaw. I'm waiting for that. Anyway, this was a fantastic comic book. I love this. I cannot recommend this in trade more. I couldn't possibly recommend it more. This is great. You want a nice, heartwarming, funny comic book that's going to just bring a huge smile to your face and you're going to want more? Look no further. That's it. That's all I got, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.